So here the images are being shrinked and the team's name are sent to the top and a new one to is displayed. So we try as much as possible to duplicate that or replicate that in this application. Over to your current layout XML file to emotion layout. You right click on that XML head to convert to motion layout and click on convert convert this will automatically generate um or add a line of code to your xml file which is layout description which also creates a file where where it houses um all the attributes related to the motion layout of the transition you want to reduce the size of the images or the size of the views in the layout so we start with the images so with the chelsea image what we do is click on the end part specify the id and first of all reduce the height Do the same thing for the main logo. And with the team names, we want the name to move on top and vanish whilst it's about to end that is in the transition so what we focus over here is the margin top so we reduce the margin top and as it gets close to the end of the transition we fade it out so the fading is what we use the alpha attributes for so we would decrease the margin top value to let's say 80 dp and then the alpha to zero so when when it gets to zero it will fade out so as you can see it's it's faded out and we we'll do the same thing for the mayo Also specifying the team names after the images are being shrinked or when it gets to the end of the transition. We also want to increase the margin, we want to decrease the margin top so it gets at the middle of the team logos. So and then at the end we want to display or make it visible. So we set the alpha to one. So we can have a peek or a view of how the transition will be like when we run it in the application. So all, all you have to do is click on the arrow and move this line. So as you can see, it shrinks and shows. Shrinks. I think this is very nice. 
and then the last point is to add um should i say a click listener or a click event so you have two types that's the click handler and then the swipe handler with a click handle in the transition we specify from start to end and the view to click basically anywhere in the layout to so the base layout we add it and then we run the application feel free to play around with the swipe handler and the click handler see how it works in motion layouts